Hi, folks. You'll have to excuse my cat meowing as she starts because she's sitting right on top of her box. Hello. Um, I was trying to use my camera, but of course that didn't work. Something's wrong with my camera. I want to do a, a kind of a quick video, not a full tutorial on how to do paper bead or, you know, to make paper beads to the final end. What I want to do is show you how I make the paper beads from everybody's input from everybody's um videos or you know whatever was taught um in doing paper beads first you need is something to cut with i have this cutter cutter board you can even use scissors you don't have to be you know a a everything you go cheap on this the way you go i mean you can find there's my cat's whiskers which you get back um if you if you find um they got templates on Pinterest or, you know, they show you how to do all this on YouTube and everything else. Um, another thing is, for those that are beginning or just want to learn, you could use toothpicks. Um, toothpicks, you wrap your, you wrap your um, strips around, you glue it, you pop it into something like a styrofoam or whatever to let it dry. And I just, I, I was going to say, don't get glue on the stick, which you really don't want to do. But if you do, by accident, I had just learned a trick somebody had done, and that was to put it in the microwave for a few seconds, and it should loosen it up. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not guaranteeing it, but it's something you could try if you do. Of course, and then there's also many, many different types of, um, rollers out there different sizes i've got a few different ones i'm just showing you this one right now it has the slitted slot so all you do is feed your paper in there roll it up pop it off paper bead girl she's on facebook and i believe also on youtube she has a patent one that you roll it up and there's something up here or something you do you pop it off it just pops off so I haven't yet got one of hers yet, but I'd really like to eventually. Um, you also need your glue, of course. And then you also got Maj Podge. I've got Petri PC Petrifier. You could use Vibrance for glaze. There's many, um, you know, different types of glazes and glues that you can you know, you could look it up, find out people's opinions, or you could just try yourself. Just experiment. That's what it's all about, is experimenting with the paper. Now, there is also what I use. People use different things. They could use, um, you know, wax paper to set their beads down as they go until they can, you know, do the, the final steps where they have to hang it up and dry. When I go to roll my paper beads... I got a, this is at Walmart, $1.88. It's a cutting board. And when I first roll my paper beads, of course, there's still a little bit of glue on it. I throw it on this. And it doesn't stick. Let it dry for a minute. Get out of here, kitty. Let it dry for a minute. And then I um just, I take them off until I'm ready to do a second coat of glaze or second coat of glue or glaze or whatever. And then I got a little thing that I used to hang up with, which I didn't bring with me. Um, another good thing is you can get a hundred of these for well, at Walmart for a buck. Um, they're plastic gloves. Now I tried using the full plastic glove on my hand. Might be able to do that when I actually do the, um, the other part, you know, of the gluing and the, the glazing. But when I do, do the first part where I roll the bead, when I go to roll the bead, I have a problem with my thumb tends to get a lot of glue. Now, I loved rolling them up and having the glue and peeling it off. Remember that as a kid? Oh my gosh, I love it. So there is times I, I'll do that. But there's times I just, you know, I want to make a lot of beads. I don't want to say you're a mess with the glue. So I'll cut off the fingers. See that? I'll cut the finger off and just use it on the fingers that I'm using the most. And if it's not staying too well, I'll put a little piece of tape on it or something. That way, I'm not getting all this glue all over my hand but like i said most of the time i don't mind it i love playing with the glue but these are you get a hundred of these for for a buck and you just you know either use the full or use that now as far as paper beads go there are many many 
different styles of paper you can use. People have used um, cereal boxes. They have used, I've used junk mail, um, cardstock from scrapbooking. Any type of paper that's out there can be used to make paper beads. One of my favorites that I've just I've come across that I am really enjoying is magazines. Yes, magazines. And the good part about magazines, no matter what's in it, you're going to end up with a variety of colors. Variety of colors. And if you have a page, well, I don't think this one, well, if you have a page that has just mostly words on it, those could be used when you go to make the chunky bead. You you go ahead and make the strips out of them. Of course, this isn't the part that's going to be seen. You want the pink to be shown. But you'll use this for chunky beads where you use three or four strips of paper to roll up. So I'm, I've been really enjoying the paper bead. I'm going to turn this light on a little bit more. Because what I want to show you is... In doing the paper beads, I have, this is just the singles. Now, I'm not sure if you could see this. Now, my cat's going to try and check these out. Back up. Okay, see these singles, these single strips, okay? Variety of colors. There is just so many colors when you when you do this. And this is magazine. Now, of course, if you want specific colors or whatever, you can always get the paper you need for that. But this is the, the single strips of paper uh, of the, the uh, magazines. And look at just the colors. You could do different sizes. You could do different shapes. You could do everything with these. Now, the one I've been enjoying lately are... My chunky beads. Now, chunky beads. Let's see. Uh oh, they're going to get mixed up. Bag fell out. Whoops. Okay. These chunky beads are half inch strips. And, no, nope, that one ain't. That one goes over here. These are the half inch strips. Let's see if you can see them. Okay. And there's like three or four strips that I put together to make these chunky beads. I have to apologize. I'm using my computer um, camera because, I don't know, something's wrong with my camera. I have no idea. Um, and then I made these as one-inch strips, three or four pieces of magazine paper, one-inch strips. And look at, look at the colors. And you mix them up, and I mean, the colors are just beautiful and if you really like i say if you want to get your paw off the keyboard get out of here <laughs> but if you want a specific color but you go to do these magazines of course you could you mix these in as you know um kind of like a breakup instead of a plain color so this is the one inch chunky okay this is the, I think it's, I believe it's one inch. Gosh, I hope I'm telling that right. This is the half inch. So one inch, half inch. These are the chunky three or four pieces of paper together. And then this is just the single strip of paper. So you could totally tell the difference of the different types of beads. <gasps> ow, 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 ow. She attacked me. I think she thought I was, okay, that's enough. <laughs> It's called Don't Do a Video with a Cat Around. She's not liking it too much. Okay. Um, one other thing I, I, I would just like to say is, um, as far as the different types of papers and stuff, I also have some here. Gosh, I don't trust her now because I'm going to bring my hand up there and she's going to try to attack it. You back off. Here. Let me turn it a little bit. Now you're going to see my leg. Ugh. Now, see, these are... It's glow-in-the-dark paper, I believe. I don't think you can see that too well. But it's real thin glow-in-the-dark paper. Which you can make beads for kids with. And then, I, like I say, I use every 
strip of paper. Like if I come down to the nitty gritty and there's only a thin strip left, I will use that. Because with that, I wonder if I could just hold the bag up so she don't attack me again. <laughs> Can you see all those little mini beads? Those are used with the smaller, um, the smaller roller, the smallest roller I got. And I can make all these little mini beads. I guess they call them seed beads, but some of them are longer um, than others. But these, again, this is all made. This is all made from paper beads or scrap paper that I had around. So the the oh here's here, here's one I'd like to show. Um, these beads are really cool. Like I say, there are different patterns that you can download or get. Um, Pinterest has some. <laughs> these look like little dumbbells. Oh, you can't see them too well because they kind of blend with my... Darn, they kind of blend with my hand. I wonder if I put it like this. But they're kind of like dumbbells. I don't know if you could see that. Hopefully you can. My cat looks like she's ready to attack me again. <laughs> but, yeah. So, yes, newspaper. Junk mail, cardstock, anybody can make paper beads from anything, and you don't have to go out and buy no expensive roller. Um, they sell them on eBay, Etsy, um, Amazon probably has them, and if you don't want to spend that much money on them, depending on how much they are, toothpicks. Toothpicks are cheap, and they can be reusable. Toothpicks. There you go. Toothpicks, glue, and don't forget, this is all magazine. This is from magazines that I've already stripped. So, magazine strips or any type of paper, glue, toothpicks, and of course your glaze when you get done, but there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I know it, it, it was kind of messed up a little bit because I had a switch things around and my kitty got in the way and scratched me but I do appreciate you watching I do a variety of different types of videos if you subs you could like and subscribe and I'd really like the likes that way I know you're watching um I'm not into the money making things so I don't need a million subscribers or nothing so as long as you at least like it that way I know people have seen it um and it, Look at my other videos. I've got, I do um, EVPs. I do ride-alongs. Um, I haven't done a lot of stuff lately, so this is something I figured I'd just do because I haven't done something in a while. So, hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks again.